that's nice. Wow, cute. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and living your best lives. Today I'm gonna do my by far most requested video ever, which is all about my tattoos. Not all of them mean anything, a few, only a few of them actually mean anything. I didn't really know if this was a good idea to do this just because I know some people just steal people's tattoos and stuff, but whatever, like if you wanna do that, that's just a personal issue. Just take it up with yourself because I just think it's weird. So honestly, like by all means, like be inspired by people's tattoos, um, but just don't copy them straight up because it's just quite a shitty feeling when like you have something, especially if it means something to you and then someone else literally just rips it off. Um, like any good tattoo artist will not just copy somebody else's work. So stupid that I even have to say this, but if you don't like tattoos, then I have no idea how you've ended up here, but you are lost, sir. If you don't like them, that's fine. Like I'm not asking you to like them or watch this. So yeah, if you don't like my tattoos or you don't like tattoos in general, then please keep that to yourself. Write it down. I don't know. Put it in your diary. Tell a friend. But I don't really want to know. What people choose to do with their body is completely up to them. And if you don't like that, then just don't look. Simple as. But yeah. If you would like to see all of my tattoos, then don't go anywhere. <laughs> don't go anywhere. Pretty much all of my tattoos have been done by G Hawks. I will link like her page below and everything. She's just absolutely amazing and not only is she amazing at what she does, but she is like the loveliest person that I've ever met. So yeah, I think it just makes a really big difference if you have a really good relationship with that artist because it makes you love it that bit more because I love her. Um, you know, there's been love put into them, so. I love them. Gee, I know you'll be watching on your TV with your cat. So, mwah. I love you. Right, so I was gonna do them in order that I got them, but after like the first one, I really can't remember after that. So I'm gonna start with the first one and then I'm just gonna go. That's my first one. It's pretty good first tattoo, isn't it? Could have some sort of live, love, laugh, infinity. It's kind of like to do with my family. My dad always says to us like, be nice, be kind, be happy, like be whatever the fuck you wanna be, sort of thing, just be, you know? It's like if I'm having a bit of a shitty day, like he'll just send me like a B and it kind of just means like, come on, like be happy, like be good, sort of thing. And me and my sister both have that. We had that done together and we are broke. So at the bottom of this arm, I don't know how you're gonna really be able to see this that well, but I've got lemons. Like all around here, it kind of just wraps around. Well, this is hard to do. Yeah, it doesn't really have any meaning that one, but I like lemons, so that's that. Then going up, I've got here, these are just little embroidery scissors, and I really love these. I think they're really beautiful. Um, again, they don't really mean anything, but this like long, thin gap here, and I just thought they would fit really nicely there, so I absolutely love those. I think they're like one of my favourite tattoos, actually. So then, going on to my shoulder, this is my fave. I think I said about all of them, but this probably is one of my absolute favourites. So it starts here, on like my collarbone. Maybe I should, I don't want my boobs to come out. It starts kind of there, and then it goes like round here. Like so. This is my most meaningful tattoo that I have, and I just love how it looks as well. So, story behind that. <coughs> Still dying, still still dying. So these are actually flowers taken from my nan's garden. She is just like, I could sit here all day and talk about her. She is the best person that I've ever, ever met, ever met, <laughs> my nan. <laughs> I just met her out in revs. She's like just amazing and I just love her so much. She's like everything that I wanna be in a person. And she has the most beautiful garden and it just really reminds me of like being little. So yeah, I sent G some pictures um, of the flowers that's off her garden. And yeah, she literally just went round them. So these are the actual flowers. Um, so that's why when people ask to copy it, I just think it's so bizarre. Like, why do you want Diana's roses on you? Like, don't do that. It's really weird. My nan came with me when I got this one done. So it's really cute. It was like a really nice thing to do for her. And she was there with me. So yeah, it was cute. Right, so then going on to the back of my arm. Come on now, I'm gonna do this. Right, so this is obviously Amy Winehouse. 
she is like one of my favourite people ever. Um, I've just always loved her since I was really little. Yeah, my little, my girl. You know, growing up she was just very like me. Minus like the hard class A drugs, I wasn't doing that. But yeah, I just loved her to pieces and on my other arm obviously I have someone else and I wanted to get a matching one here and she was just the perfect person to have on my arm forever and I just adore her. My sweet little darling. Right, so then, what should we do next? Right, so my fingers. Just got my little dots on my fingers. Look at my nails, they're so nice. I've got this little lightning bolt on my finger. This one is for my babes, Luca. Loads of people always say to me like, don't you think I such a story? Why am I going to have my boyfriend at this age? Oh my god, it honestly just going to break up. In my head, like, I just don't see it in that way at all. Even if we weren't together, like, he is such a good person that I can't imagine there being a problem between us, basically, is what I'm saying. Someone's a, like, a good person and you've, like, actually cared about each other and, like, loved each other. Always be in your life, I think, you know? If I ever loved you, I'll always love you. That's how I was raised. Drake. Thank you. Story time. Basically, we just both love thunderstorms and whenever there's a thunderstorm, we'll, like, lay in bed and watch it. Wow, how romantic. Isn't that so sweet? Yes, yeah, so that's it for my hands. I do want to do my hands at one point in my life, but... Gonna wait till my mum's in a care home so she can't shower me. Then, right, going on to my other arm. Quite hard to see, but I've got a little bird here. Um, I really love this. It's really cute. It like sits really nicely there. Bit here is literally just it's a sunflower, which sunflowers remind me of my mum. I don't know why. I don't know if she even likes sunflowers, but they always just really remind me of her. So I want a sunflower in there. It kind of just comes around here and up here. It's got like some peonies. Sunflowers, little cherry blossoms. Onto my elbow here. You know the best way to show this. I don't want to. Uh, yeah. So this is just a chrysanthemum. Um, I really like these, and I always said that I would never ever get my elbow done. Like I literally said to G, that is one thing I cannot do. And then about two weeks later, I messaged her and I was like, mm, I'm gonna look, think. Then we get my elbow done. She was like, Oh my god. Okay. This honestly was the worst pain of my life. Like, I'm not even being dramatic about it. I actually, if I just died, I wouldn't have been surprised. I'd be like, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Normally when I'm getting tattooed, like, I'll be sitting there, like, chatting away to G, but I just remember just laying there like this. And every time she was talking to me, I was like, yeah, yeah. Really, really knobbly elbows, like this little bit here. Oh my God. Just above that, I've obviously got my main bitch. Frida, great, love this girl. Ashul can see. Oh, you can't even see it, but she's there as well. So, so cool though. She's super cool. You fell in love with her. I think she's so amazing. And when I went to the V&A exhibition of her, I couldn't stop crying. I want to try and show you like the two girls together, but I don't know. That's my girls from the back. Right. So then after that one got one more on my arms which is just here and it says tears dry on their own which is obviously Amy Winehouse song I just love that song and I just think the idea of like you know tears dry on their own like to me that kind of just means like you'll be fine like anything that is really hurting you and you think is the worst thing in the world tears are gonna dry you know good reminder you know no your tears are gonna dry it's absolutely fine move on thank you so that was actually done by uh, Francesco at Angelic Hell. Um, everyone who's done my tattoos, I will link them below so you can like go on their pages and stuff. He's really lovely as well. Right, so that is everything at like the top of my body. Um, I don't have anything like in the middle, just haven't got around to it. Um, I do really want to do my back one day, but I'm saving that space because I want one big thing on the whole thing. So I'm going to save that space. So on, ow, ow. on this side, Oh god, I'm not flexible enough for this. Eee. This side. Eee. I've got... Oh my god. This here says 19... Oh, and he fell over then. Fuck. That's a good idea. Right, so. I'm going to stand on this chair. Good. Health and safety. I've got 1995 in, like, gothic writing. And um, that's the year that my sister was born. She has 1999, which is when I was born. So... 
Yeah, matching tats, boys. Oh god, didn't realize it was gonna be so strenuous. Right on this side, um, these were done by Francesco as well. Yeah, they're literally just roses. Nothing special. I literally just wanted something in that area because I always wear like rolled up jeans. I just want to be able to see something. Then, then my feet. Oh, how am I gonna do this? And they were done by Jenna Rose. She's really good as well. But she's moved now. So sad. Got a moth on this foot which you can't really see because I can't get my foot at that angle a wall oh, my life just flashed from my eyes then on this foot I've got how do people show their feet tattoos how am I meant to do this I've got a moth don't even know how well you're going to be able to see this is really hard to do I've got a moth on this foot and then I've got a stag beetle Oh, I'm pretty sure I just dislocate my ankle. Oh my god, I'm so out of breath from literally standing up and sitting down. So, a video on my piercings, I'll probably do that at some point, but I don't want to put it in this video because I don't want it to be too long. Yeah, that is it. That's all my tattoos. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and thank you so much for being here. I love you all so much, and I'll be back soon. Love you all. Bye. Mwah.